This is JT, welcome back to my YouTube channel, heading straight upstairs and I'm going to be showing you guys something a little different today. What I mean when I say I'm going to be doing something different today is I'm doing abs, calves and forearms. So these are three unusual muscles that people don't usually incorporate in one session. You're going to see that here today. I'm at Revolution Gym. Let's head upstairs and let me show you how to grow your forearms, build vascularity as well, build your calves and also have a ripped six pack. All right, guys, stay tuned, like, comment, share and subscribe. Be elite, be a part of the movement. As I always say, join me on my quest to becoming more better looking, more successful and A, you know what it is, let's get it done. You can't expect to succeed if you only put the work in on the days you feel you feel like it, you know? Your, your mind has to be stronger than your emotions. Your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. So for each day you don't feel like working out, for each day you don't feel like putting in the hustle, you just have to, you just have to push yourself. It's all about purpose. What drives you? What's your purpose? Why are you going to the gym in the first place? Why are you enduring all of this pain and suffering? As I always say, Give every day your best effort to ensure the best outcome. There's no glory out of living an average life and not achieving your full potential or not unlocking or tapping into your maximum potential. There's just, there, there's this feeling of satisfaction when you've gone to the gym early in the morning or late at night after a long day of grinding, you've gone to the gym, you worked your ass off, now you're headed home, you have dinner and you go to sleep. That's, you know, that's one of the best feelings in the world. Or you wake up early, you head to the gym, you have a, a really good session, a really tough, really intense session. You head to the gym, you work out, and then you go on about your day. You just feel like you can tackle anything. You feel like you can accomplish anything. And that's what being a leader is about. It's about tapping into that mind space where if you can't do it, no one else can do it. You know, there's a saying, if I can't do it, it can't be done. If you can't do it, whatever it is, if you can't do it, if you can't achieve it, then it's impossible for any other human to achieve it. It's impossible for any other human to get it done. So if I can't do it, then it can't be done. And that applies for anything. Um, whatever you believe you're the best at, carry yourself like you're the best until you're the best, no matter how long it takes. Ask, believe and receive. That's how it works. That's as simple as it is. That's just how, that's, that's just what it is. Walking hand in hand on the ocean floor Down deep we wonder Louder we sing, no there is no cure In this together How do you achieve success? How do you visualize it? and then capitalize on that vision. Everything about you is the one, is the one Really won't be pretty when it ends Now how could I leave With your sweet love on me, yeah, yeah Something about you always makes it harder When you got my lipstick on your white shirt collar I'm not 
conversation while we're at it let's cover off a few things that we did today so obviously today we trained we did forearms we did abs we did calves all right with forearms what you notice in the forearm training is that's how you build vascularity especially for your arms if you want your arms to be vascular you need to train your forearms how often do you train your forearms you should probably consider doing it once or twice a week I like to do it twice a week but in this video I just thought I would show you the breakdown of how I do forearms, how I do calves, and also how I do abs. These exercises, as you can see, we didn't do too much. So you can actually do these exercises at the end of a back day or the end of a chest day or whatever really big day you're looking to do, right? That's one secret that, or that's one nugget that I'll let you guys have in this video. And there are obviously many other nuggets to come the more you stay tuned. Let me know what you'd like to see. I've got so many ideas, but I don't know where to start. So if you guys let me know in the comment section what it is you're looking to learn, what it is you're looking to find out more about so that I can obviously give that information. Let's talk about something that a lot of people want to know or a lot of people have some concern about, the use of supplements. What supplements should you take? Should you take creatine? Should you take protein? Should you even maybe consider taking juice? You, all of those things. Let's talk about that. At the end of the day, like I said in my last video, it's all about purpose. What drives you? What's your purpose? Why are you going to the gym in the first place? Why are you enduring all of this pain and suffering? If you're someone who's looking to compete at a professional level and be absolutely elite, be absolutely exceptional, in bodybuilding then it's a no-brainer to get juiced up personally I don't recommend that because that's my personal view that's my personal opinion not to discredit anyone that does it that's completely up to you but for me and where I stand with that kind of stuff it, it's it's just not acceptable I, I'd rather take 15 20 years to build a good physique than do it in a matter of 12 months but again it's purpose driven right in terms of supplements it's not a hundred percent necessary to be taking protein shakes and creatine and all of that because remember this is all stuff you can supplement out of your diet so if you're eating the right amount of protein if you're eating the right the right amount of good food you don't need to be taking supplements if you're looking to obviously be just a little bit above average or above average in general then yeah, it might be something you're considering. As for what supplements do I take? Hey, why don't we discuss that in another video? Why don't we discuss that later on down the track? Because at the moment, I haven't been taking anything. I haven't been taking any supplements. I am considering taking some supplements just for recovery for the purpose of these videos. Um, sometimes I don't rest throughout sets just to give you guys the best content possible and I need something to boost my recovery so that you know I can actually focus on YouTube but also focus on my normal training program. I've got training programs coming out for you guys very soon. If you wanna learn some of my tips and tricks, I'll definitely keep you on loop, in the loop about when that'll be dropping. But look man, 
At the end of the day, like I always say, this is all purpose driven, you know? If you're not passionate about this, don't force it, you know? Don't, just don't bother doing it. Find something you're passionate about and strive to be the best. Not better than anyone but yourself. Not better than the next person, but be better than your past. Be better than who you were last week or be better than who you were yesterday. That's what this is about. Finding something you're passionate about, but also something that helps you in your professional life, helps you in your financial life to, again, be elite. Being elite is such a, I, I think it's a cliche thing to say because everyone wants to be a lion, everyone wants to be alpha, everyone wants to dominate in their field, but no one really wants to put in the work, you know what I mean? It's like that saying, everyone wants to go to heaven, but no one wants to die. Or, you know, there are, there are many sayings around being elite but not willing to put in the sacrifice not willing to put in the work so find something you're passionate about and really go after it because your belief is what's stopping you what your, your self-esteem is what's stopping you if you're too invested about what your friends think what your family thinks or you're scared of other people's judgments that's limiting you from being the best version of yourself possible i know so many people who have crazy ideas about what they want to do with their life, what they want to do with their career, but what's holding them back is other people's opinions. Just be yourself, be original, and strive to be the best, strive for excellence, and be elite. For the purpose of this video, obviously I think you've noticed by now, every video I do, there's something inspirational in there for you guys, but for the purpose of this video, I'd really appreciate if in the comments you could let me know what it is you want to see next. I'm thinking of running a program called Mindset Monday. And in that program, what we explore is what brings about success? What qualities do you need to have to be successful? And that's what Mindset Monday is about. It's also about men's mental health and mental health in general. So I'm not limiting it to men only, but it is about mental health. And it's just about how to stay afloat during tough times because as you know tough times don't last tough people do how do you build thick skin enough to survive almost anything or for that matter to survive anything how do you build those character those character characteristics to just be a soldier be an absolute beast of a soldier i think when we think of hardcore people you'd be thinking of someone like David Goggins shout out to David Goggins man that guy is an absolute machine how do you tap into that kind of a mindset that's what we're going to be exploring on Mind Mindset Mondays it's pretty self-explanatory it's going to be on a Monday so if that's something you're keen on seeing let's let, let me know in the comment section let me know that you know it's something you want to see I'll have a lot of special guests to explore things like you can see your future, you know? You can close your eyes and see your past. And you can see your past very, very clearly. Better than you can see it with photos. So if you can see your past and you can see your present, what makes you think you can't see your future? Everything in this world is yours to take. Whatever, whatever you have right now, you saw it in your brain and you said to yourself, you know, I really like that pair of shoes, I'm going to get it. So you've moved all of these brain cells to shift focus in order to buy this pair of shoes. And you can literally apply that same psychology to achieve absolutely anything you want. And this, this is why I'm really excited about Mindset Mondays, because this is what we're going to be discussing. How do you achieve success? How do you visualize it and then capitalize on that vision? you know so guys uh this is gt you know gt stands for great i truly believe and i think i've said this before i truly believe every single one of us has an element of greatness that's just waiting to be tapped into or that's just waiting to be unlocked and because you haven't discovered it yet or because you don't believe in yourself or you don't believe in it yet that's what's holding you back 
the moment you believe in yourself, the moment you believe in your ability, the moment you believe in who you are, where you're headed, you become unstoppable. You know what I mean? It's really not about where you came from. It's really not about your background, but it's, it's, it's about where you're headed. And this is where seeing your future comes into play. This is where Mindset Monday comes into play. Because now we're exploring, it. Now we're exploring how to visualize your future and live within that vision. Take a second to think about it. Visualize your future and live within that vision. Not live within the vision in La La Land or in a little fantasy, but live within that vision practically. You know? Visualize driving a Ferrari and go out there and get it. It might take you five years, it might take you ten years. It's not how long it takes, it's the willpower and being able to bring that into life. So that's what Mindset Mondays is about. It, it's really about incorporating the gym life with, you know, the real life, gym life, real life, or the gym life with outside gym life, and how not giving up in the gym applies to not giving up in real life. What I mean by that is when, when you've had a rough day, or when you've had a rough workout and you just can't you just can't be bothered anymore. You don't feel like doing the extra rep, you don't feel like doing the extra stress, you don't even feel like being in the gym anymore. Being able to discipline yourself enough for the next one hour to finish what you started. When you start something, finish it. If you get tired, rest, that's fine. Just don't quit. You know? So when you have that discipline where you can start something and successfully finish it, you'll become a different type of beast. I think you guys have probably seen this advertisement. I'm going to put a link in the description where Kobe was doing an advertisement with Kanye West. And Kanye West was like, how many more Grammys do you want me to achieve? Kobe's like, more. How many more whatever it was do you want me do you want me to achieve and this was Kanye asking Kobe and Kobe was like more and Kobe kept asking for more out of Kanye West and Kanye West ended up saying but I'm the best and then Kobe said are you a different animal and the same beast and then Kanye was like what the hell does that mean Kobe Bryant and then he just said thank you so I'll, I'll put that in the description below for you guys to have a look at but that's essentially what you need to ask yourself. No matter what you have right now, no matter how good you are right now, even if you are the best, you can be better. So do you, how, how do you tap into that mindset of wanting more? If you don't want more, that's fine. You don't have to. If, if you're content with what you have, that's, that's absolutely fine. But for those of you who want more, but just don't know how to tap into that space, Mindset Monday is for you. Mindset Monday is what you need. Because the type of people I'm gonna have on the program, I just, they, they will blow you away with how they coordinate and articulate themselves in this space. So I think it's something that, although this is a fitness channel predominantly, I think it is something that will add value to how you run your day as I said before if you don't run your own life someone else will so this will add value to how you run your day and running your life day by day will essentially result into extraordinary achievements in the long run let's talk about being successful let's talk about conquering depression let's talk about conquering anxiety let's talk about those conversations that no one wants to have let's talk about how the gym helps with mental health let's talk about how finding a passion finding something you're passionate about and pursuing that helps with depression helps with mental health 
this channel, as well as Mindset Monday, is a platform for these things to be addressed. And look, if you want to feature in any of any of these programs, it's, it's just as easy as sending over an email or just even commenting in the comment section. Uh, I'm, I'm very open to doing collaborations with anyone and everyone. I think my channel is, and it's, it's an extension of my thoughts and my vision for my own life and my own future, but I want as many people to be a part of that. So if you feel like you've got something to, if you feel like you've got something to share or something you want to say and you think my platform might be the resource to voice your opinion or to voice your message, it's as easy as letting me know and let's, uh, let's work together. Let's work together. Because, hey, if you've envisioned it, you're 50% there. If you said to yourself, this is what I'm going to do and this is what I'm going to achieve, you're 50% there. This is GT. This is the elite team. Okay. Until next time. Peace.